Welcome to ViaTravelers.com, where we take you on exciting experiences around the world. As world citizens, we believe no place should be left unexplored. That is why it is our goal to help you explore the world around you so you can learn, grow, and fall in love with unique experiences in each of the locations we tour. We welcome you to this edition of ViaTravelers.com. It is very important to us to be able to keep providing you with the best content. All we ask in return is for you to subscribe to our channel below. Now let's take a closer look at the best places to visit in South Dakota. Our destination of choice for this episode. In the description for this video, we will leave links to each of the attractions in the state so you can effortlessly plan your trip to see it all. Are you ready to explore South Dakota? South Dakota has so much to offer. The state, which was the 40th state to enter the union, has long been known for its more remote areas. Its rich history lies within Sioux Native American tribes that once called the area home. Across the state, nine tribe reservations remain present and have dominated the area throughout its history. South Dakota is beautiful as it is a part of the Great Plains with rolling hills and beautiful open prairies throughout it. It is also home to mountains. You may know that the area was once a big part of the gold rush, a period when settlers along the eastern coast flocked to the west in search of claims of gold and with hopes of becoming rich. The state suffered significant losses throughout the 20th century during the Dust Bowl and later during the Great Depression. Still a powerhouse for agriculture and industrialization, this region is exceptional in its beauty as well as its amenities. Today, there are a lot of fantastic tourist destinations available that welcome you to explore all that the region has to offer. Tourism has been a main component of the state's economy, contributing to over 33,000 jobs to the state and over $2 billion to the economy. What are people coming to see? Well, Here's a list of the top 10 places to visit in South Dakota. Number one, Mount Rushmore. When it comes to things to do in South Dakota, it's hard to find anything more impressive than Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a national memorial monument in which the majestic figures of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln are carved into the mountainside. Located in the Black Hills, the monument was created as a way to showcase the diversity of the United States. From its early founding to its growth and change and to the preservation of the country and the foundation of the industrial age. Those who visit here are sure to be impressed by the sheer size and scale of the hand carved faces etched into the side of the rock. Often called the Shrine of Democracy, Mount Rushmore was carved by Gutzen Borglum from 1927 through 1941. The sculpture is four separate images carved 60 feet tall into the rock. Park surrounding the monument spans 1,278 acres and the mountain itself reaches 5,725 feet above sea level. Visitors are welcome to see the sculpture and explore the area surrounding it. Number two, Sioux Falls. When it comes to exploring all that South Dakota has to offer, a visit to Sioux Falls is definitely in order. The city has become one of the most sought after places in the Midwest to explore, and there's good reason for that. The area has ample attractions and some outstanding food. There's no doubt that you'll find plenty to pack into your day here. As the largest city in the state with over 192,500 people, Sioux Falls is very much a modern city. It sits on the bank of the Big Sioux River, which is easy enough to get to from I-29 and I-90. A visit here means exploring some of the fantastic amenities like the huge park system that includes Great Bear Recreation Area, ideal for those who love to hike. While in the city, visit the South Dakota African American History Museum. Try your hand at feeding butterflies at the Butterfly House and Aquarium, or get onto the greens at Baker Crossing Golf Course. Other must-see locations include McKinnon Park in the University District and the Pettigrew Home and Museum located in the heart of the city. Number three, Rapid City. As we continue to explore South Dakota, we have to stop in Rapid City. Located just to the east of the Black Hills National Forest, Rapid City is a smaller city, but still vibrant and green. It's home to around 76,500 people. It too has become a very modern community. Though so hearing the 1880 train rolling through the area throughout the day is sure to give you the true mountain vibes that this area is so known for. In fact, you can still explore the 1880 town, a community set up as if it was still located in the 19th century, where you can easily explore buildings and wagons the way pioneers of the area did. For those looking for other fantastic opportunities, there's much to do. Visit Dinosaur Park, where there are life-size sculptures sure to pique your interest. Explore the Crazy Horse Memorial, take on the Reptile Gardens, and spend some time in Bear Country, USA. There's no doubt there are some excellent adventures here, including the Storybook Brook Island and the Chapel in the Hills. You will not be disappointed in the culture and hospitality at this area's best shops and restaurants as well. 
Number four, Badlands National Park. The dramatic view and incredible natural beauty of Badlands National Park makes an exceptional place to visit, and if possible, to do some hiking. This area is stunningly beautiful with red rock formations and steep drops into the canyons below. You'll notice towering spires and a large open areas where you, there are often bison, prairie dogs creating their habitats. In some areas, it looks as though nothing could live here. And in other areas, rolling green grasslands creates an impressively beautiful landscape. Called the land of stone and light, it is a must to see the park during the sunrise or sunset when the area is truly transformed. People from around the world come to explore the area's 244,000 acres of land to see the natural habitat at its best. Today, there is a lot of research happening to better understand the delicate areas, but the region has been long an important cultural area. Archaeological finds here that date back some 12,000 years. Native American tribes have long called this area home and preserved the area. World War II even played a, a role in the area's development as the area became an Air Force base. Number five, Deadwood. There's one thing that many people know about South Dakota and that it's rich history surrounding the cold rush. Deadwood is at the heart of that. And for those who are looking for a true Wild West area to explore, this is the place to visit. This historic city is home to many things, including the Mount Moriah Cemetery, where there are some of the most well-known Wild West figures buried there, including Calumny Jane and Wild Bill Hickok. It still feels like a Wild West town, minus any gunfights in the middle of the streets, of course. It's an incredible place to visit, especially if you love American architecture. The historic Adams House, which dates back to 1892, is a Victorian mansion that has all of its original features that you can still tour today. You can also spend time in a saloon, check out some of the fun shopping for vintage items, and have some fun at the local restaurants. There's also a beautiful landscape to take on with hiking trails throughout it. Number six, Custer State Park. South Dakota tourist attractions are beautiful at all levels, and number six on our list is no different. Custer State Park is a wildlife reserve tucked into the Black Hills. Definitely a, a beautiful place that's dedicated to taking care of the natural habitats of animals that are unique to the area. There's much for you to do here as well. That includes camping, hiking, swimming, and biking through 71,000 acres of land. If you love to fish, you'll find some of the best to be done in the area here. Many people come to paddleboard along the water or to sit and relax with the beauty of nature around them. You can rent a boat to take out onto the water as well. There are guided wildlife activities available throughout the year and four historic lodges that you can stay at when you want a more resort-like experience. Some even offer private cabins designed to create that old Western charm. Number seven, Black Hills National Forest. Another incredible experience is Black Hills National Forest. It provides an opportunity to explore history along with nature, as the two in this area are so linked together, it's hard to tell the difference. Black Hills spend the western portion of the state and into the northwestern portion of Wyoming. There are more than 1.2 million acres in this area, most of which it's forests and mountains. This area is huge, spanning 100 miles long and about 70 miles wide at its biggest areas. For those who are visiting for the first time, there's much to take in from the gulches and canyons to the open grasslands. You'll find quiet streams as well as rushing waters, perfect for whitewater rafting. The beautiful lakes in this area are known for fishing too, and there's a number of great local attractions that exist here, including the Crazy Horse Memorial. Number eight, Wind Cave National Park. Here's a fabulous location to visit when you want to see the beauty of South Dakota. Wind Cave National Park is a stunning prairie where you can explore a really remote area. The grasslands here are home to elk and bison, as well as many other habitats. It's one of the oldest national parks in the United States too. What's most interesting here is Wind Cave itself, a long and complex cave system. In fact, it is one of the largest in the world. The name of the cave comes from the barometric winds that are commonly found at its entrance to it. The good news is that you can take a look inside during a guided tour. When you do, you're sure to find the inner passages confusing, but beautiful too, with a unique rock formations on the walls. Number nine, roadside attractions of Waldrug and Mitchell Corn Palace. One thing you'll learn quickly about South Dakota is that each city and area has something special to offer. And often that includes roadside attractions that may make you stop and wonder. There are a few different locations throughout the area, but Waldrug located along exit 110 is one of the most interesting. You'll see these billboards everywhere you go. And even the bumper stickers too. It was the only pharmacy in the area in the 1930s. And from that time, 
grew into one of the best locations to stop for a meal. Today, there are a few art galleries in the area and a playground perfect for kids to get out and stretch their legs. Next on the list is Mitchell Corn Palace, located in the downtown area of Mitchell. It's hard to miss the Corn Palace. It sat here for more than 120 years and lures in plenty of visitors each year. It's a free attraction that you can visit throughout the year. So what is it? It's a Moorish style building that has a number of murals within it. While you're in Mitchell, make your way up to the lake where you can spend some time boating and fishing. There are also some beautiful lakefront trails in the area. Number 10, Spearfish. Before we depart the area, we have to take a trip to Spearfish Canyon Nature Area. This area is home to several attractions, including Savoy Pond, Rough Lock Falls, and Spearfish Falls, and all are worthy of a visit. Many people come just to watch the birds and animals in this densely forested area, but it's one of the best areas in the state for hiking, especially when you want to watch some of the cascading waterfalls. In the winter months, you can snowmobile in the area too. Some even come for snowshoeing as well. The area is within the Black Hills National Forest, but is worth exploring in its own right. Some of the trails are a bit challenging while the park is open throughout the year. It can be dangerous during the winter months. So that's it. That is our exploration of South Dakota and all the natural wonder it has to offer. We have found that the state is incredible in its natural beauty, as well as its detailed history that seems to be found around every corner, or should we say, bend in the forest trail. We're excited to take you on this adventure and we hope that you're ready to explore all that the region has to offer. Take a moment now to help us out and just subscribe to our YouTube channel below. If you love travel, share with us with your friends so they too can start planning some amazing trips around the world. Cheers.